Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another video. Today is a, another special video uh, or layout. It's um, I'm doing a layout for Kathy, Scrappy Kathy's celebratory hop, 1500 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm taking part in that today and I'm also doing, um, Kathy and Adam had a, a cyber crop in Scrap Backwards at the weekend. Uh, last weekend and Ka one of Kathy's challenges was the Kelvin ball challenge so I thought I'd have a go at that Um I'm not random scrapbooking is kind of like my worst scrapbooking nightmare really I'll be honest with you <laughs> I don't really do random I do um not random but anyway I've got to give it a go I'm I don't think I'm getting elephants or anything on my page, but I'll see what I can manage just, you know, for the fun of it. I'm not following a sketch or anything. Um, Kathy's been quite kind to us. Those of us who don't, you know, do Calvin Ball, she's kind of give us like a condensed version of the uh, the list that they do. If you don't know what Calvin Ball is, you need to kind of do a search for it. It's um, It's like a random scrapbooking challenge where things change each day, what you need to do and what products you need to use, that kind of thing. So Kathy's given us kind of a condensed version of it, um, a little bit easier. So we're going to have a go at that. And um, it, it, although I'm doing this, it is the Scrap Backwards Cyber Crop and it's a Scrap Backwards Challenge. I'm, my um, Scrap Backwards kit is my Christmas kit, as you know, probably. So I'm not actually using my Christmas kit, but I am following the um, cyber crop challenge. So, but what I might do is find a little bit of something to pop on my layout that is from my Christmas kit. But it's actually not a Christmas layout. I'm not generally using my Christmas kit. What I'm doing is um, there's also no Calvin Boyle ball police so you know you don't have to worry about being arrested if you get it wrong or something or don't get enough points or that kind of thing so and also I'm thinking to myself that I might sneak in a few points for myself for the random things that I get on my layout that that should have been on the list that aren't on the list that you know other people would consider random that probably aren't random on my layout but anyway so what I'm doing is a double page spread because that kind of helps me to get to more things on the layout and what I've done so far is I've got these two papers one of them is Damask Love Life's a Party and um, it's this it's this um, lightning bolt um, paper that I've had before and it's the one that I use that's when I do something related to Elvis because it was a logo that Elvis used and then um, Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Weathered Garden is this other piece that I'm using. And it's um, this one. So what I've done is I've cut them in half on the vertical and I've created my two pages, as you can see there. So, um, yeah, and I've mounted them onto just some plain cardstock of a colour that's not particularly, um, you know, it's not one that I particularly rush to use or anything or run out of. So yeah, that's what I'm starting with. So my layout today is about a visit to the donkey sanctuary here on the Isle of Wight. My favourite donkey is Elvis, as you know, you probably would have known that or without even needing me to tell you. Um, I've, uh, I'm a long time adopter of Elvis. I re-adopt him each year and um, I like to go and visit him once in a while. Whenever I go and visit him, he always plays it a little bit cool. He doesn't come over to see me or anything. And on this particular day, he was just eating, 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 eating the whole time I was there, like literally didn't lift his head well he did lift his head a couple of times but only because he was munching so uh, yeah it's, I thought I'd just do a fun layout about visiting Elvis again I've done quite a few layouts about visiting Elvis so um, let's get going I've got a lot of products going on here today and um, I'll try and remember to show you what I'm using um, but yeah it's a little bit um, chaotic on my desk at the moment because I'm, I'm trying to do the Calvin board and also with it being a double page spread and everything so what I've got I've picked out a frame from this Simple Stories chipboard frame Hello Today um, uh, packet and that's this frame here and then I've got I've picked out the Simple Stories puffy stickers from Family Fun which because I, I thought I might try and use like the arrow and also these chopsticks because I thought um I don't know if you can see that, sorry if you can't. Um, I thought they were like pretty random, but also I don't think you know they're chopsticks and they could just look like something that's in the pen, the donkey pen. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go with those. I've picked out some of my um, uh, 
Coco Vanilla Studio No Limits, my new stuff that I bought recently. These these pieces are from that. I've also got my firm wood to hand and I've got some stamps. I've got this squirrel stamp set, which is a um, visible image I've shown you before. I've also got this Daily Flash um, stamp set here, which is all to do with photos and, and what have you. And then I've got this, this stamp set here, which is like bunting and um, stamposaurus. So yeah, I've got a few things here gathered. I've got a stencil also, star stencil. I've got here, I've got um, some sort of burlap hessian star sticker pieces, some um, sequins, frosty evergreen Spiegel Mom scraps. I've got all my little um, glitter domes here and some wood dots too. Plus um, I've punched out some stars here from cork and from some Vicky Booting paper. It's this Vicky Booting paper here from Fernwood. Um, I've got some dotty back flare pieces, some washi tape, a little wood piece here that looks like a bag of food from a dog set, Shadney, Maggie Holmes hearts here, and um, just all kinds of bits and bobs. I've got some Bramble Fox pieces too. I'm trying to use um, some welly boots that I think I'm going to give myself a point for because I don't think that's on the list. A couple of frames here, and also I've got some a, a, a tag here. And some project, a couple of Project Live cards, and then some cards here from the No Limits uh, haul recently that I got. I've also got my texture paste out, some um, enamel dot paint, um, these ones, and also um, some uh, spray, glitter, sp uh, glitter spray. So um, yeah, we'll see how we get on with all that. It's all um, ready to go on my desk, and I'm just going to pick and choose what I want to use. If you wanted to have a go at following the Calvin Ball points for the Scrap Backwards Challenge, then if you go over to the albums over there, you'll find it. it's challenge number one and Kathy's put a list of there. So, um, yeah, if you wanted to have a specific go at that one, then uh, hop on over there and take a look. Um, Calvin Ball... Like the, the other challenges for Calvin Ball are in the Calvin Ball groups, but a lot of people are doing them. They're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, lo lots of places where you could find the things for each day if you wanted to take part in the actual um, event itself, which is, I think it's for the whole month of March. So we're kind of halfway through, you know, more than halfway through with that. So, yeah, I've got six photos here. And what I'm thinking is this large one here is going to go over here. This is another one that I just printed off on my ordinary office printer. I just tell my printer to print on A4 and, and then I just kind of either fit it to the page or, or don't fit it to the page, depending on how. Sometimes if you fit it to the page, it cuts things out on the edge, um, but sometimes it looks better. So you, whatever your printer is, just go with your settings, really. So I'm thinking that this one is going to go over this side um, of the page. And then these ones I've sort of put down already where I think they might go. This, this title here I thought I might put on here. Hey there, because, you, you know, Elvis is kind of like ignoring me. Um, and, I, and I was thinking of him one, one piece on that side and, and the other piece on the other side. So I've got um, these Project Live cards here that I said about. And I'm going to have, I think maybe to the moon and back, news flash. And this one was really good because it's got the lightning bolts on which again is connected to Elvis, so Elvis Presley, I mean, obviously. I think you knew that already, though. Um, it was a logo that he came up with, he designed, and he, it was like, and he, he, he always said taking care of business, and that's the logo that he used for that. And he made jewellery and all kinds of things out of it for, you know, his uh, mafia, the people that surrounded him. Right, um, I've got these two I was thinking might, and, and these frames might look nice here and um, perhaps, you know, with a frame on. So um, I've got an idea of how I want it to look. But obviously um, it's going to be a busy layout and I may change things around. I'm not going to mount any of the photos. I'm just going to leave those as they are. With these photos here, what I might do is, um, obviously I don't want to cut Elvis's nose off down the bottom there. So I might those together first kind of something like that what i'm going to do is trim the top off of this photo because i think that's going to it's actually too big for the frame isn't it so sorry elvis i'm cutting your back off top of your back off that's the sort of thing that scrappy adam does he chops things off from people's you know anatomy from photos <laughs> ears and things like that <laughs> he doesn't mind doing it though <laughs> i need to cut more off sorry elvis i'm doing it again oh gosh i feel terrible now Feel terrible. 
purple velvets. Right. Oh no, I think I cut too much off. <laughs> See, that says me right for making fun of Adam. I think we might have to swap them around. Okay, so yeah. Oh no. Oh, I couldn't wait too much off that photo. How silly of me. That See, that just completely says me right for being, um, you know, being mean there. I'm going to try and make it work though. Because I don't want to print the photo off again. I just have to put a, a random Calvin ball embellishment there. So I'm sure if you follow me, you follow Kathy, Scrappy Kathy. She's got an amazing... Um, YouTube channel. She's she just she does crazy things with scrapbooking. She just just really embraces the whole, you know, joy of scrapbooking. She does all kinds of amazing layouts. I'm a little bit more um I don't know, I don't like to do random. I like to just scrapbook what I scrapbook. Which is fine, obviously, but uh, you know, if you want fun, quirky, extreme, don't come to me. <laughs> Go to Kathy and Adam as well. So Adam's the same. He does amazing layouts. Now I'm wondering about cutting a bit off there because I don't think that's quite right either. Where's my little trim? I feel it is. I don't want to cut too much off though, do I? Like I did before. Pop that over there. Uh, right, Elvis. I think we might do it. Like that. I think I'll leave the gap at the bottom rather than at the top. Oops, sticking that to the page, and that's too far over as well. I need to just trim a little bit off there. I probably should have stuck these down before I started. It's quite difficult to do it uh, on the go. <laughs> right. Okay, hopefully you can see all that well. So, as I say, these always just stuck down. So I'm thinking I'll cross this over onto here and just um, maybe have that one straight and leave some lightning bolts at the bottom there, perhaps within the scallop or on like that, I think. Yeah, I do want that to go straight-ish. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now then. Uh, I've stuck that one down already. Definitely want these on this side and definitely want this on this side. I'm I am going to do that there as well. Um, I think these titles here, I was thinking I'll put one here and perhaps one here. These are quite recent ones. I think they're from the Fox Box, probably February with the uh, the word in. But I'm not, I must admit I'm not sure, I haven't uh, checked. When I get them, I kind of open them and I just put them with my others and I don't um, keep them in their, you know, packaging. Now, I've got this welly boot, which is random, and I really think I do deserve a point for that. But the donkeys have welly boots in their enclosures. I think they play with them because the first time I saw one, I thought, oh, someone's left the welly boot in there. You know, it might hurt them or if they chew on it or something. But actually, I think it's like a toy. It's something that they play with. It's part of their enrichment, you know, and um, to keep them occupied and, and, and what have you so yeah that's really relevant now then i've got these two dotty back fur pieces i thought the color went really well and also that i don't know what that is i just don't know is it a raccoon i'm not sure i should really look check check but i think it's a raccoon but i'm not sure but i definitely should get a random point for that as well definitely well, i'm gonna stick that down because otherwise i'm gonna be piling things on top of it and then I'll find it difficult to stick things down later. So, um, yeah, I think we'll go with that there. And then what I'll do is I'll pop the frame probably here, probably um, straight there like that. We'll do that now. I don't think it's a sticker. Can't actually remember if it's a sticker. But I'll, view, I'll add it easy to it anyway. Like I said, I'm going to do that straight like on the edge there. I hope you can see this. I think you can. Like that. Like that, I think. Yeah. That's good fun. And then I was thinking of popping these two pieces here. I could even put a sticker or something on top of that one. 
Um, but I really like, I thought the colour really matched. So, yeah, I've just got a bit of glue sticking out there, bothering me. So, just pop that one down again. Yeah, and then this one, it's just a beautiful um, piece. This is not a design team project for Dotty Butterfly. As you know, probably know, I'm on the design team now. But this is um, not a design team layout, but I do use, um, you know, it, I love the products and I use it on lots and lots of my, all of my layouts, really. Anyway, not just because, you know, I'm, I'm, obviously I'm only just, I've only just joined the design team. Right. Um, I think that's going to go there. I've got I've cut these two large pieces of the... Uh, Blair XL pieces. I thought I might just have one in each corner like this. Like, oops, like that. And I've got some um, sort of Hessian type twine that I'm probably going to spread around those. So uh, we'll have a look at doing that in a minute. I think I'm going to get these down. And we can start thinking about the embellishing. Is that too much of an angle, that photo? I'm not sure now. When I look at it, I think it is. Yeah. I'm going to just, if I can peel that up, I don't know, this photo paper is not, it's not like the selfie photo paper, it's, um, it's quite thin, it's not, um, it, it's, you know, it would easily damage basically. There, I think I am going to do that at less of an angle there, yeah. Pop that down there, and could move it further over, oh gosh, messing about here aren't I? Photo. Oh dear. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, I thought if I moved it a little bit further over, I'd have a little more, bit more place to put my uh, my uh, Excel flare piece there. So I'll just pop that there in the corner, and I will add, like I say, some uh, twine to that. That's not so very well, is it? Gosh, I'm not used to so much. Uh, busyness on my layouts I'm getting myself uh, into a little bit of a tizzy here I think I need to think about what I'm doing and do one thing at a time I think I'll line that up with the photo and then I think I'll just edge that one just like that but, it, but I do actually need to put a decent on that <laughs> okay Right, there, I think that's fine. Okay, so then we'll do this side. And, I mean, it is it is a double page spread or, you know, two, two layout spread, but um, it's not going to be like a mirror image. I, I don't know what the rules are with regard to that. I'm sure there are rules or there may or may not be rules. But um, I just do, um, I like to do kind of like, sometimes I do a mirror image double page. But I quite like to do just like, because I've got a lot of photos of one thing that I want to scrapbook. I just kind of like make it as one whole page. And I do kind of like um, try and add some elements on both sides that are the, are the same. But I don't plan it so that it's, you know, like an exact sort of mirror image or, or, or anything. And any way to do it is fine, obviously. Some of my favourite pages are uh, double page spreads that I've done, actually. I don't do them. I, I don't do them often, but when I do them, I really like doing them. And it's usually, like I say, when it's something that's got a lot of photos that I've got a lot to say about. A lot of, a lot of um, you know, it's something that I really enjoyed. Like an event or something. Right, I think we'll pop that one there. And the frame, we'll add the frame as well. And then we get in there, I think, with the basic design. I won't sort of show go over the Calvin ball points with you because if you want to take a look at them, I will obviously put a picture image on the video for you to have a look at so you can pause it if you want to. But um oh look, it is a sticker. Oh but I will, I won't sort of read them or anything because they're in lots of places and you can find them quite easily. I'm going to line that up with the photo like that. And then I am, um, obviously I wanted that down there, didn't I? I just need to move this over a little bit because it's um, a bit difficult to work um, over there. No, 
hope that's okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should put Elvis in a little bit. This go to a Elvis because I want to fit that on. Tore the paper a little bit there, but I don't think that will show because it's. I'm going to make sure it's underneath the photo. I don't really want to uh, chop Elvis's legs off there, but I do want that on there. So in one photo, not chop his legs off, <laughs> cover his legs, obviously, poor Elvis. Um, I do want that there, so I'm going to uh, just pop that over and hope he doesn't mind on the one photo because, you know, he's got the, there are the other photos of him. <laughs> Bless him. Right. There. Lots of love. That's going to go there for sure. And that is going to go there for sure. I'm just going to take a look from above just to see if I... Uh, I think I am going to... I was thinking about whether to put those at an angle or straight, but I think I'm going to put those straight, and I think I'm going to do that now. Actually, get those down. I just glue them on the edges because they're raised, and they'll only... They're not really big enough. It's not really a deep deep enough uh, frame to put to add glue, um, foam pads. So what I'll do is I'll just glue it on the edges, and it'll glue fine like that. I'm not going to worry about the middle bit, that's what I mean. The bit that's not touching the frame. I'm hoping it'll just be fine. And this glue is very, um, I've mentioned it in the previous video, this glue is so um, strong. It's becoming my favourite glue. Just need to remove that piece, just to get that one in place. Like that. Pop that on there, we'll take another look at that and see how we feel about that in a minute. I've got my little bits and of um, ephemera and pieces to dot around, so any gaps we will be able to fill, I'm sure. Now then, let's have a look at putting some uh, twine around here, I think. It's quite close to the edge, but I think it'll be fine. I'll do the twine here to begin with. Then uh, just bring it around and add some more glue here. Well, all the way around actually. It's quite a thick. It's quite a um, rugged twine. It's not a. Uh, it's not like a baker's twine. It's more like a gardening twine. Right. That's fine for now. I'll do this one as well. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing yet. It's the first time I've done a double page layout on camera, on, on you know, like done a video. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. I didn't want to um, do them like separately. I wanted to uh, have them together, to work on together, because that's how I normally do it anyway. So that's what I wanted to do today. Right, that's looking fine. I like that. Um, get this photo down. I'm not raising any of the photos. I'm just putting them all in their place. I think we'll probably just have that one. Just like that. Yeah. Right. I'll probably add a little bit of twine to that tag too. That's all in place, isn't it? I think most things are in place. We'll just put this down. Could have raised these um, on foam, but I, I think it's too much to think about at the moment. I'm just trying to uh, remember to <laughs> get everything in place and thinking about foam pads is a little bit takes me over the edge. Right, we'll have that on there like that, and then I think we'll do this one as well. This will stick fine to this uh, photo straight away. Like I say, it's not it's not the best quality uh, paper. It's quite a very dark photo as well with Elvis over in the barn there. I think I'll raise that one a little bit up like that. And pop this one just uh, slightly below that. I don't feel very calm because... Um, 
I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, there's so many things to remember. That, uh, <laughs> we'll get there. What I'll probably do is do a little bit of writing on here. I'm not sure about on here. Because not much to say. It's just really to say that I visited Elvis again and he just spent the whole time eating and, you know, didn't even come and say hello to me or anything. Which is what normally happens. <laughs> right, I'm going to just... Uh, Go away and have a little think about what else I want to do. Just pull out the, the pieces and, and, and what have you and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've added a couple of these burlap pieces here. I, I did just put them in place to have a look and then I couldn't get them up again. So they're, I, they're, I wanted them there anyway, so that's fine. And then um, I've got this, I've added the, uh, oh, well, I had added the glue to the uh, Wellington boot here, but it's just fallen off. I've forgotten to glue that one down before, so I'll just pop that one there. Um, let's have a look. Do we want that to angle? I think we do, yeah. And I just glued those down as well because I've not done that before. And then I picked up these um, cork stars that I've punched, and they are it's on it's an adhesive cork, so they they can just I can just stick those down. And I used my uh, Fiskars thick punch to do that, and it's that is my favourite punch type of punch the, the thick one it very easily punches out cork no problem at all i did try to punch out a piece of um acetate the other day for a challenge but yeah that didn't really work so it definitely doesn't punch out that acetate right i think i'm going to pop these ones down here quite like those i don't think i would do another any more calvin ball layouts not that i've actually looked at the list particularly i looked at the list before i started uh, when i was coming up with the idea of course um but yeah i, I just um yeah it's uh kathy is just amazing at it she's amazing but it is really hard especially if you don't think that way because i don't do random or chaotic generally on my layouts i'm having fun though but yeah it's not don't think it's something that i'll be doing a lot of in the future <laughs> picked out this little bit of um, washi which is this is the one product that has come from my um scrap backwards kit my christmas kit so what i'm going to do is just add a little bit here i always add some sort of adhesive to washi because it yeah in my experience it never stays stuck but i haven't got this thin type is quite fiddly so I'm just going to do it with a little bit of glue. Sorry, I just had to run downstairs because uh, someone was at the door. <laughs> and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that. I think I might add another bit on top because it's gone along the crease. It's sort of creased along the uh, edge of the uh, card there. So I think I might just add another bit like that. Oh, yeah. It's kind of done the same. There. I think that's okay. And I'll, I'll probably add another bit at the top now just to... So that there's two on each one. Right. I think that is fine. So I've got my little bit of Christmas themed washi on my layout. So it is a scrap backwards layout. I've got these two stars. That These are the only two left from the ones I had before that I used on that Elvis movie layout. And that caused me so much trouble. I was, I'm not sure if I can even bring myself to use them. But, uh, you know... I might have a go, but I think they're going to be difficult to stick again. So I, I'm not sure. I'll leave them there. I've got those Maggie Holmes hearts, but um, I don't think I'm going to use those. What I will do, though, is get a couple of these uh, wood um, pieces, and I think I'm going to pop them on this camera here. Just like in those little, um, the you know, the little flash and the uh, lens. Perfect. I like that. And then I, what I'll probably do... Is try and get three on this side as well. Um, now then, where should I put them on this side? Maybe over here. I'll just put a few just random in a similar place on the other side of the. Uh, on the other side, you know, not not in a similar place. The similar place would can be here, but um, I'm just going to pop them there. So I like them there. I've got these gold domes. I've got the sequins. I don't think I'm going to use the sequins today. Um, I've got these gold. Um, glitter domes that I love so much. Mm. 
I don't know if I could scatter them anywhere. I might, as I've got those there, those there, I might actually put some up here. But what I might do is use the wood ones. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the wood ones. And I think even though it's quite in a line to that, I think I'm just going to do that anyway. I think I quite like that. They're more apart, those ones. Not quite as close together. Hmm. I'm liking it. I'm finding it hard to add more because it's not what I normally do. I need to do a date. I might put the date in here. Obviously, I've got the writing to do. I could do something here, but I'm not sure. I've got. I probably won't use the stencil now. I've got the arrow, haven't I, and the chopsticks to have a go with. Where should we put the chopsticks? <laughs> Maybe we'll put the chopsticks just here for fun. I think they're chopsticks. Are they chopsticks? I don't know, because there's red in there as well. So, And then I've got the arrow. So um, maybe I could put the arrow. Oh, his nose is covered there, isn't it? That's a shame. Maybe I'll just put the arrow here. Hey there. I think I will. Yeah, I like that. Now then, I've got the firm wood pieces in here. I was thinking I might try and use some of the... Uh, there's some little puffies and also there are some um, flat stickers words. So I was thinking of just having a quick browse through those to see if there was anything that I might use there. I can't find a puffies. I put everything in here. I'm sure I did. Everything in the one container I mean together. Oh, I, may, I think I may have taken them out actually. I think they're with another layout. Possibly to use on another layout. So let's see. Keep life simple. That's quite cute, isn't it? These are quite thin. This is like a washi. I think uh, maybe I might just pop that there. Don't know if you could read it that well. Yeah, you can once it goes onto the dark. Refocus. What is this life? Let's today restart. See the good. Take the unexpected path. Make today count. Uh, hmm. Picture this. That's quite a nice one because it is like a picture, isn't it? I think I'll pop that on that frame there. There, picture this. And then let's see if we've got one that we can uh, put on the top. I think I quite like that really excited, and it? it does actually use the same colour as that um, Bumble Fox piece there. So, yeah, I like the idea of that. Right. Can't read all, I can't actually read the smaller ones unfortunately because my eyesight doesn't allow me to do that. Uh, especially the ones that are on the background where it's not easy to read. But I think I like that's that's good what I've used there. Uh, I was thinking about doing the stamping, wasn't I? I really like them um, this one that says um share my food. So I'm going to use that share my food. I just got my uh, ink out. Um, I'm going to use a stays on ink because it's, uh, it's quite a shiny surface and I think I'm going to pop it on here instead of the date. I'm going to pull that little sticker off there just because it's it might be a little bit raised and interfere with the block. Just get some more ink on that. So what I'm using is stays on midnight blue for this. I'm just going to put that on there because I think it's quite funny share my food. I don't think Elvis wanted to share his food. <laughs> don't blame him either. I don't like sharing my food either. But I went away and I, I just made sure I'd got the correct date. So um, I'm going to do that as well. Perhaps um, uh, I might do it there actually. And then there's a bit of stamping on each side isn't there? So that's that bit done. And then I also thought, because I've got the two flare pieces here and the two here, I was thinking, oh, I think I'd quite like to put a couple here. So I went away and picked these really lovely uh, pieces that I think I'm going to place here. I might do them like separate like that because they are quite separate on there, which wasn't intentional, but it's just how it, uh, I ended up doing it. I think I'm going to pop those down now and then I think we're kind of coming to the end of what I can do. I can't... Uh, I'm not good at uh, adding, adding, adding. <laughs> Keep adding. 
Oh gosh, I do like this layout though. And it's not really busy, is it? The one mustn't forget about that. Um, it's not really a busy layout because uh, it's over spread over two pages. And it's got all the usual things that I like to put on my layout. So, um, yeah. But I was just trying to, you know, get extra, do, do the uh, fit in with the challenge and have a little bit of fun. So I'm hoping that I've done that. Um, I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. I will. This is, I know this is blank here and I could try and come up with something to put in there. Just because uh, I, uh, this piece here, this stake here, I absolutely love this piece and I can't wait to use it. But And it would fit in with this page, but I, I'm, I'm not going to use it on this page. I think I'm probably going to use it on a page about one of the dogs. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to fill that in. I've got the, I didn't do the texture paste. I thought about just doing a little bit of texture paste um, a star, but I'm not going to do that. Um, it's just really a matter of, oh, I like that one that says the best, because he is the best Elvis. Where could I put that? I could pop that there, couldn't I? Just as a move, kind of a random piece. If I was good at layering and I'd thought about it, I could have layered some of these pieces underneath that, but um, yeah, I didn't. But I like it like that anyway. So, there's a mixture there of things and um, die cut pieces as well I've got this that says these beautiful moments which uh, oh it's quite a long piece I didn't realise that I could add that couldn't I I don't, I don't think I'll use the I really like that uh, I really like that this piece that comes along with it but I'm not going to add that to this page I think I'll save that for something else I'm going to put this right here like that right I should really put a star in a hard time and I should really try and use these stars that I said about using I was just the, the only reason I wasn't using them is because I was just worried about the adhesive but you know what I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna stick it down and see what happens T yeah that did look too didn't look too uh, promising did it but like I say when I did it before I had to hold them down and put a weight on them and um and, and yeah press them in place for quite a while i mean that's just disappeared that glue i haven't got any of those little glue dots somebody did suggest using the tiny glue dot you know little pieces that you can get but i haven't actually got any of those and i did try using the red line tape and that didn't work either so i'm just going to hold those down for a second to see if that makes any difference and uh, think about final touches. What I've got, I'm not sure if there might have been like a musical note in the Calvin Ball thing. And I've got a couple of these little sequins here, musical note sequins for my stuff that I could add on because it is Elvis, obviously. But actually, I don't think I'm going to. I'm not sure. I can't really recall now whether sequins was one of the things. And maybe that's why I pulled out the sequins. So I should really probably try and add a couple of sequins because they kind of don't take don't take too much space do they but they um, do kind of add a small element of interest so what I'm going to do now I've thought about it is I'm just going to add some on here like maybe one there I'm not going to think about it too much I'm just going to put the glue down get the pieces out tip them into my little bowl this time rather than tipping them all over the desk like I did before get my little uh, till here and just oh I don't know whether to go with just yellow I think I will go with yellow just yellow I think yeah and the large piece yellow as well rather than the small one yeah I'm gonna do that that looks nice and what I'm going to do is also do that on this side so um I think I'm gonna do it on here actually Just like that. Make sure that's the right way. Find the stick better if they're not, if the dome is touching, the domed bit of the sequin is touching the page rather than the, the inside bit of the dome, if you know what I mean. I think this might be quite a long video, so um, I'm hoping that it's not, you know, it's not too boring <laughs> interesting for you. <laughs> but obviously with all the extra things that I'm doing for the 
the Kelvin ball. It's more, it's not just like a simple layout that I would normally do, but hopefully you, uh, thank you if you have stuck with me. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. Right. Um, yeah, now I'm wondering whether I should uh, add something to these. That one, yeah, did break off a little bit, but it, it's fine. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I've got, I think they're sticking okay at the moment. I've got the, oh, sorry, I was a little sequin there stuck to you. Maybe I should use the tool to lift that because that's what it's for, but it, yeah, I've put it over there now. Okay. I think, I think I glued, did glue that bit down there, didn't I? Uh, I think that's everything that I pulled out. I've used a little bit of, so um, that's good. Um, I haven't done the um, splatter. I haven't done any splatter, right? I probably need to do a bit of splatter actually. We'll do a bit of splatter. I think I might just do it in one place there. Mix this gold on. Just pause. I just pause to shake it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just, yeah, just add a little bit here. I think I'm just, I think, I say that, but I think I might just do it in one place. Oh, that was a large blob, never mind. Or do I want to do it? somewhere over here as well. Oh, I think I will and do it here on the green. These photos are not, none of these photos are printed from my selfie printer. So um, they're not uh, indestructible like those ones are. But I think I'm actually gonna do that in just those two places. And then I've got my little enamel dot, uh, old fashioned enamel dot, enamel accent pieces that I might uh, I'm wondering whether I can make that work somewhere. I haven't used them in a while, so I have to test them. I'm just testing now. Yeah, I think I will actually. I think I'm just going to go a bit random here. Oh, yeah, that didn't come out very nice, did it? That's okay though. I think it'll be okay. Tap it a little bit. A little bit here as well. Oh, a bit gloopy. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'd do one bit here. I just need to remember that I've done the splatter and not put my hand in it because that's highly likely that I would do that. I've done it many times before. Right, I've got a little bit of that on there. Um, like I say, I probably won't do the writing on there. I'll probably do the writing on here. Just a small little bit of writing. Um, I could have added more to this, couldn't I? But now I'm not sure. I'm looking at that little uh, this piece here and I quite like that actually. I wonder if I should just add that in, this bit here, I think I will. I'm just going to trim it up at the intersection there. Save that piece for, oh, now that's not good. Oop. Yeah, <laughs> save that piece another layout if I can rescue it. And I am going to add, oh no, I've put my finger in the, uh, I've put my finger in the white, uh, in the white loop. So what I'm going to do is gather that whilst I can. Doesn't look great, but I think that actually looks a little bit like the background. So I don't think you can, well, I don't know if you can tell that that's what I've done. Or whether that looks as though it could have been part of the, the, the background watercolour kind of thing. So yeah, that's what I need to be careful about doing because I do it every single time. I, I smudge things and, and, and yeah, I forget that I've done them. Okay, so I think probably need to, I'm going to call it a day. I think I've finished. If I decide to do anything else, obviously it'll be in the photos at the end, but I think um, I've finished now. I'm going to add the writing. So yeah, just uh, congratulations to Cathy on her 1500 uh, subscribers celebratory hop. You'll find that on um, YouTube and Instagram. So, um, you know, it'd be easy to find. Um, you can just search for that. Cathy, Scrappy Cathy. Um, and yeah, it's uh, thanks Cathy for the challenge of Calvin Ball, I think. <laughs> I do quite enjoy it. What I'm going to do is go through the list and then if I can find something that I can add that I've missed, I might just do that. So, But otherwise, uh, once again, thanks for joining me. Stay safe, take care and I shall see you next time.